Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lit code question 1129 that says shortest path with alternating colors. So here we are given an integer and that represents the number of nodes in a graph and uh, the graph is connected by directed edges uh, and the directed edges are represented into two forms the red edges and the blue edges. So yeah, this is not a simple graph uh, with the directed edges but uh, the each edge has some restriction of colors. Okay. So let's talk about uh, this what is this red edge and a blue edge. So red edge is from AI to BI represented that is a directed red edge from node A to B and similarly the blue, blue edge represents the that thing. And what we need to do, we need to return an array of answer of length n where each answer of x or for each index i we need to return the shortest path from node 0 to that, uh, to that node i such that the edge colors alternate along its path. Okay. So I hope you got this that uh, for what we need to return let's say for n equals to 4 then our answer would be of size uh, 4 that is we need to return 4 answer this way and uh, what each answer would represent that this is let's say a0 1 2 3 so this 0 will represent the shortest distance from 0 to 0 this 1 will represent shortest distance from 0 to 1 2 will represent shortest distance from 0 to 2 and similarly 3 and such that that each path uh, the the edges of the path are alternate along the path means the color alternates that once you take red then you have to take blue else red then blue and in such that alternate path doesn't exist or no path exists then we will return minus one for that case okay and yeah, that is one another thing to note here is that each edge is a red or blue graph and that could be self edge and parallel edge so the meaning of self edge is like this See the edge that starts from the node and ends at the node itself. So this is known as self edge, and these are parallel edges. See as you can see here that this is node zero, node one, and there is two edges from node zero and to node one, right? One edge is a color red, other edge is a color blue. But you can see that both the edges are parallel. So yeah, this type of edges can be present in the graph as said here. So yeah, I hope you guys got the question. Now before moving ahead, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you find my explanation helpful. So we are now talking about the first test case given here. So we have three edges, right? 0, 1 and 2 and the red, three nodes 0, 1 and 2 and the edges are represented here. Okay, so let me, tr let me try to demonstrate you this here by taking, by drawing the complete graph. Okay. So yeah, here uh, let me uh, draw. So initial here we have one node zero, and as you can see, that zero to one is a red edge, directed red edge. So I will keep this as red, and one to two is also a red edge, as you can see here. And blue edge, there are no blue de blue edges. So yeah, in the answer variable now answer distance from zero to zero is always zero. Yeah, it is always zero. Okay, now distance from zero to one. It, it is one and is the color path alternating yeah it is only one path one distance so no need to worry now zero to two it is of length two but is the uh, path alternating no this is one is red and here it is red so we will return minus one okay so as you can see here zero one minus one got it now let's uh, draw a graph for this example and look that uh, look at it once again uh, so here you have Again, edges like this. So let me draw a zero, zero to one, detected red edge, and two to one. Yeah, you can see a two to one. What is it? Blue edge. So in the answer variable, zero to zero is always zero. Correct. Now zero to one. Yeah, you can get one, and there is only one path, so no alternating or nothing we have to check. Now zero to two. Is there any path from zero to two? No, there is no path from zero to two. So you return minus one. Got it. So I hope you guys understood both the test case. Uh, yeah. And now if you look at a constraint that on, there are only maximum 100 edges, 100 number of nodes possible. Uh, and the edges can be up to up till 400. Okay. So basically in order to find the shortest path, see, just forget about this red edges, blue edges. Think only of uh, edges, right? We have given simple edges and for each node from the zeroth node, what you need to do? You need to find the shortest path. As you can see, shortest part from node zero to each and every node x. Okay, simple. So what what is that one algorithm to find shortest part? There is one algorithm, the simple traversal. That is BFS traversal, right? 
BFS tower sir, starting from the node zero to all the nodes, what we will get, we will get, we will keep getting uh, the shortest path, correct? So yeah, uh, our our approach for this question would be simple. That would be BFS, but BFS plus some constraints. Okay, BFS plus some constraints. Now, what are these constraints? So what constraints we need to maintain that uh, alternate color path, correct? Alternate color path. So what what modification we have to make in this BFS? See, there would be one modification for the queue. So uh, typically queue will store a uh, node, uh, okay, current uh, current node uh, in the prior typical BFS. But here what we will have we will have two stories. We will have two stories. One node along with node the number of steps of how we reach till this node and the color. Okay, these three things we will store here in the queue. And second thing is visited array. It would be a 2D visited array. So one first this will store the node if the node is visited. And second, the node is visited by which color? So this is color. Now you might be confused at why we are using this. So in order to explain this, I have few examples to tell you. So yeah, let's traverse so let's find the answer for this example. Okay. So initially from 0 to 0, it's 0. Correct. From 0 to 1, as you can see, it is 1. From 0 to 2, it's uh, it's also 1, right? From 0 to 3, it's you can see this alternately, B and black, blue and red. So yeah, you can take that. From 0 to 4, it's blue and blue. You can't take it, so minus 1. And 0 to 5, you can say blue, red, blue. So you can say, uh, you can take 3. So, uh, so this would be our answer. So each node, let's say for node 3, you have to check that it is it has arrived from node 2, right? How many steps it was there, one steps. And what was the previous color? Previous color was blue. So this would be stored in the queue. And based on the previous node, we we, we can ch uh, check that can we take node three or not we, by checking the color uh, is the color alternate or not. So this is why this is how we will store uh, each or uh, each and every information in the queue, right? So queue would be this. Okay. So I hope you got that to how we will be using queue. Now second thing you might be wondering that why visited two D array with node and color. So let me show you that with this example. So let us take this answer array again. Now from here, 0 to 0 answer is 0, 0 to 1 answer is 1, 0 to 2, there are two ways, either you can take red or you can take blue. So uh, whatever you take, uh, you will get answer, right? Uh, 1. Now for 0 to 3, as you can see that 0 to 3, there are two ways. If you have taken 2, uh, 1 step and red color and 2, 1 step and blue color. So uh, let's say uh, you, uh, you choose this red, 0 to 2 red, 2 to 3 blue. Okay, you choose this blue. Okay, got it. You are currently traversing by this, this zero, this. So we, you can reach uh, this three, right? Zero to three. In how many steps? Two steps. Now zero to four. Can you reach? Uh, 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 can you reach zero to four? Uh, one red and second blue. Yeah, you can reach in two steps. But zero to five. Can you reach zero to five with this blue, red, blue, blue? You can. You can reach. No. So in that case, you will return minus one. If you do this, then it will wrong. This is wrong. See, one way you can think that yeah, phi is visited and phi can't be visited because you took you took red blue, then there is only blue edge. So in that case, if you only maintain visited of node, then this will give you wrong answer. So we have to also track that this three is uh, that there is one option to visit its previous node three by taking uh, this uh, this one edge, this one you take blue red, and if you have chosen blue and red, then there is option to uh, to. Uh, to traverse five right blue red blue so here we won't return uh, minus one instead we would return three three would be our answer because uh, it is as you can see it is possible and what we will store we will store of node and with color so here it will store the color with which it is visited okay so initially it was visited visited by blue edge right previous blue edge now if you, by by also but you can also visit it by previous uh, red edge this string correct there are two ways right Initial for two also there were two ways for three also that is two ways and in one way you will get some better answer for three and for in another way you will get answer for five okay so yeah we will keep track of this by means we have to check for both the parallel edges which edge was taken and for all the nodes we will check that which edge of previous nodes are better correct as simple as that because for b it is better to take this uh, this red edge because here it is for, uh, for four two to four if you want to travel then you have to take zero to two red See 0 to 2 red, then only you can traverse 2 to 4 in blue. But you have to take 0 to 2 in blue, 2 to 3 in red, and 3 to 
specify in blue in order to travel the blue so we will keep track of which color no edges visited as you can see and for that we will use visited to the error and yeah in the queue also we are storing all that color information so yeah this was this was the some tweak we can say to this bfs because of this uh, alternating color constraint so we added this types of modification in our prior uh, typical bfs call and yeah this way we will solve this question all right so now let's move on to the coding part where we will discuss and code uh, for this approach so initially let me take one vector uh, vector pair of adjacent adjacent elements so there are two uh, different edges given let me make this in one simple only one simple graph vector vector pair int int adj so this would be adjacency list of size n now further i have to traverse all this red edge and the blue edge correct for auto in person it of red edges so here what we will do we would simply push adjacent of it of zero dot push back so here we need to push two things one the node that is it of one and along with the node the color so for the red red color we are taking as zero let me note it here red then we are keeping zero and for blue we are keeping as one okay now the same thing we have to do for blue edge blue edges the only difference would be here we would store one okay so yeah now further what we can do we can uh, we will uh, make one vector uh, int of answer and uh, of size n and we will store all uh, minus one okay initialize it to minus one then we would take one vector vector of bool visited and it would be of a size n and here the vector bool the second would be of size 2 okay because we are we only have to store for the colors two colors right red and blue and another thing is we will take q of vector and let me name it as uh, it would be int and here q okay now it's come to the initialization part so initially we will push q dot push 0 comma 0 comma minus 1 so yeah uh, this minus one it will represent that uh, we can uh, since there is no point uh, how you will traverse q so this is what this is node uh, comma steps comma color okay this is what we are storing in the queue the second thing is visited add m so we will do uh, visited of node zero with a color zero yeah yes true and secondly we will also mark a visited of node zero with color one is true see there is no point of visiting the node with different colors it will be always zero the distance would be always zero okay and yeah we will also make answer of zero as zero right now what we have to do we have to traverse q as we do in the bfs traverse until q is empty and uh, for the size of the, and at each step we will take what we will take the size of the q and we will traverse it we can do that way also and uh, yeah since we are storing steps we can take one node at a time and traverse that also okay that's also uh, fine so let me take vector int current equal to q dot front and pop that out q dot pop now from this uh, we have to take the node that would be current of zero steps is equal to current of one and color uh, let me name it as previous color equals to current of two yeah based on the indexes as you can see here now uh, what we have to do we have to traverse this adjacency matrix okay adjacency list for auto what we will do we will traverse the pair so pair would be uh, let me name it as neighbor and color of adjacent to this node right the node we have taken here now what we will check that if uh, not visited of this neighbor so we have a not visited this neighbor uh, with the color okay and the color is not equals to previous color then in that case what we can do yeah we can visit that as simple as that so what we will do we will simply do one thing that we will visit mark the that node as visited let me copy from here visited a node of node and color equals to true and we will push that to the queue as well a neighbor comma one plus steps 
comma and the pre and the current color C O L O R. Okay. And one another thing to note here is we have to also update the answer only if the answer of the of this neighbor node equals to minus one, right? If it is minus one, then only we will update the answer. So because we need to get the shortest. So if you are visiting for the second time, then this one plus steps would be greater. Okay. So yeah, that's why we will store if only if um, it is minus one. Okay. And in the end, we will simply have to return here answer variable return answer so yeah, everything seems good now let me try to run this so yeah as you guys can see that the test cases are passed now let me try to submit this so yeah our code got accepted uh, so i hope you guys understood the approach as well as the coding part now talking about the time and space complexity so you guys as you can know that uh, we are traversing each node twice okay we are pushing the nodes in the queue twice. Once we are traversed from red edge and another times the queue edge. Means at max we are pushing the node in the queue at twice. Uh, so that would be n plus n. And here, as you can see that for each node we are checking for its adjacent, adjacent or neighboring elements. So for each uh, that would be e, e number of edges. So let me write down here. Time complexity would be big of n plus n plus e. Why n plus n plus e? Because we are not, uh, we are taking each node twice. Okay, so that's why n plus n plus c and space complexity would be also would be big of n plus c <coughs> because uh, here as we are storing the total number of edges that are e edges uh, into this one edges and same list and for the this queue will contain n nodes at a time. So yeah, generally we can say a time complex. This is as a time complexity and this is a space complexity. So yeah, that's all from my side today. I hope you guys understood the approach. The, uh, uh, and also the coding part uh, and if you have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section and yeah make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you